making these devices or exoskeletons accessible requires uh, a great deal of efforts, at least from engineering point of view at the very beginning stage. And that means we need to actually maintain a good level of performance for these uh, people with mobility disorder, but maintain the price low. The whole engineering components, the know-hows, how it had to be done, had to be done to a point that eventually manifests to the lower cost. I'm a good friend of Austin now, Austin Whitney. He, he's an undergraduate here in Berkeley. He truly has changed the way we view things in this lab. He has been teaching us uh, directly and indirectly how people with mobility disorders do their lives. He's integral in the project right now. He's advising us. He tells us what he wants or what the device should be. And, and, and then that actually reinforces our, our beliefs and our, our ideas, our dreams. Uh, we're working really hard to get Austin prepared for his graduation. Uh, we want him to walk uh, toward Chancellor and receive his degree. I will be I would be very happy, obviously, but I would go home having a lot of homework to do. It's just a beginning. I would say I would not quit. This is just one person walked for a short time, and that's not enough. One person walked for a short time with lots of preparation, and I can see how little that could be in comparison, all the achievements you can have years from now. You can imagine, I want to walk into the airport and I see five or six people who used to be bound on wheelchairs now walk with these devices easily. I want to go to airplane and I see them like folks walking on a very narrow aisles with these devices going to the bathroom independently and coming back. So these are the images I have in my mind. So by seeing Austin going to graduation and getting degree, that is just my first step to just see what will be in the future. And, and I'll keep dreaming about this thing until it will happen.